Hello guys, Mr. Dandaman2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys I'm going to be bringing you the £700 build. This is going to feature an Intel Core i5 and also a GTX 760. I personally have a GTX 760 in my build and I'm able to play games like Battlefield 4 on Ultra at 1080p with at least 60 frames per second solid. So. To start guys, yeah, we're going to be grabbing the Intel Core i5, this is the 3330, this is a 3 gigahertz processor which is a true quad core, so it's got 4 cores, 4 threads. Uh, the stock frequency for this is 3 gigahertz, but it does turbo to 3.2 gigahertz. It supports dual channel DDR3 RAM, and the control allows it to go all the way up to 2133 megahertz on the overclock. Um, so it's uh, pretty good. The actual socket, because this is Ivy Bridge, it runs on the socket LG1155 and for £138 that is a pretty good deal. Now on to the motherboard guys, we're going to be grabbing the Gigabyte GA-B75M-D3H. This is an Intel B75 chipset motherboard which is again the socket LG1155. It's a micro ATX motherboard and if I just scroll down for some of the specs, and there we are. So, this um, does feature uh, 6 gigabit ports, um, it's got USB 3, USB 2. Uh, this motherboard can support all the way up to, I just added a minute ago, the, the actual you know, maximum amount of RAM this can support is 32 gigabytes. Um, so it's pretty good and it's quite expandable in terms of what you can do with it in the future. However, it is worth noting um, that this here, uh, you get one PCI Express Gen 2 you know, port, and then you also get a PCI Express Gen 3 port. Um, so, you know, it's really up to you if you want to get this. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, with all these PC builds, it's up to you if you want to go with these parts. But, um, you know, this to me is a, a good motherboard for the price. And, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of features, including the USB 3. If I just scroll down and have a look here, look, you've actually got uh, two USB 3s, four USB 2s, and then you've also got two USB 2 headers and one USB 3 header. Uh, and then headers would hook up to the front of your case and all that good stuff. Now, for the RAM guys, we're going to be going with 8 gigabytes of Mushkin Enhanced Black Line Frostbite. Uh, now, this is two 4 gig sticks running at 1600 megahertz. Uh, cast latency on this is 9. And yeah, for six or six pounds, it's pretty nice RAM. I personally have uh, I I don't have Mushkin RAM, but I have a Mushkin um, I have a Mushkin SSD, um, and that's a pretty good SSD. It's lasted over a year and a half now, um, so that's nice and solid. Um, there's not much to say about RAM um, apart from you know it's, it's it's capacity and stuff. So it's uh, two four gig sticks and it's one thousand six hundred megahertz. Now, onto the GPU guys, we're going to be grabbing an MSI Twin Frozer uh, Dragon uh, GeForce GTX 760. Now, this card is um, overclocked you know, from MSI. Uh, it features GDDR5 memory, and for £190, I think that's pretty good because the actual core clock on this is 1085 megahertz, and the boost clock on this is quite high, and that's sporting up to 1150 megahertz. So, when you've, you know, when your GPU is not very hot, it will kind of uh, boost itself up automatically, just like the processor will. But you know, with graphic cards, they can stay at that high frequency for a very long time. Um, it has 1,152 processing cores, so CUDA cores, of course, with it being NVIDIA GeForce. Um, this card does support physics, CUDA, all that lovely stuff, and uh, the maximum card kind of power consumption from this is 170 watts at the stock speed. Um, in terms of the connectors required, it, it requires a 1 8 pin and 1 6 pin, but we'll get onto that later with a power supply. So for the storage guys, we're going to be grabbing an SSD. In the um, 600 pound build, I did go with an SSD and also a hard drive. We'll, and in this build, you know, we're going to be dropping the hard drive but doubling the SSD capacity. So we're going to be getting a 250 gig uh, Samsung 840 Evo series, 2.5 inch SATA 6 gigabit solid state. Said it there, solid state drive. For hundred and thirty-five pounds, you're going to expect uh, read speeds of five hundred and forty megabytes and also write speeds of five hundred and twenty. So that's pretty good. Uh, the IOPS is uh, ninety-seven thousand, and the controller is the Samsung MEX. This is a nice, reliable drive from Samsung. As you know, Samsung tend to make all all their things that go into an SSD at you know their own place. A lot of people that make SSDs, you know, get controllers from 
you know different companies uh actual flash chips from different companies and it's all you know it's all a bit crazy samsung make all their stuff um you know where they're based so uh you can expect a nice reliable ssd there now in terms of the power supply guys uh we're gonna be getting a corsair cs 650m now this is a modular power supply from corsair it's 650 watts and then as you've guessed the m on on the end of the 650 means modular now as you can see on the back look the cable is absolutely new choose what cables you plug in so when you come to build your pc it's not all messy and got a load of power cables all over the place you're going to choose what power cables uh you're going to use and you know where they kind of go i suppose so yeah 650 watts this power supply is rated 80 plus gold so it's nice and efficient and uh yeah you're going to kind of expect it not to get very hot or loud or whatnot so uh, yeah so you're going to save money on your actual power bills and uh, yeah it's quite nice to have a gold power supply because you uh, know that it's going to be efficient and you know it's probably going to last you a long time um, you know uh, compared to like you know another power supply that's like not even 80 plus bronze but for 72 pounds that power supply is really nice Corsa, Corsa power supplies are solid uh, I personally have a, a CX600 in my build I know that's really nice now, finally guys, oh actually, let's, let's go back to this. You want to have a look at the connectors that this has got to make sure it's compatible with the actual uh, graphic card. As we can see on this graphic card at the bottom, uh, it needs one 8-pin and one 6-pin. Now, if we just copy this into here, I don't, I usually know all, all this off by app, but please forgive me today. We'll just visit the uh, Corsair's website really quick. Um, do, 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 do. Let's just uh, go to tech specs and kind of tell us the cables. So it's got four PCI Express connectors. Uh, I would have kind of expected it to go into more detail than that, but I do believe it actually has, um, you know, the actual required connectors. Um, chances are, I I do believe this has got uh, four eight pins. I I, I really do, uh, and they're split off to six and two. So yeah, um, I wouldn't have chose this and put it, you know. Up on Chrome, if uh, it, you know it wasn't supported with the uh, graphic card, but this website just doesn't show you. Um, it usually does, so you know, don't, don't know what's gone wrong there. Now for the case, guys, case is all down to personal preference, but uh, for this build, I've chosen the 50-pound case. This is from Corsair as well. This is a Corsair Carbard 200R. It's a black MIDI tower gaming case, um, and to be honest, this case looks quite sleek. To be honest, it looks quite you know solid. Um, so it's a black case, uh, it has fan mounts on the top, your USB 3s, uh, headset, and then you've also got your microphone kind of thing, your power buttons. Now on the side as well, it's got port, well it's got space for fans. It's just a case where you know, you're going to get really, really good airflow in, and that's kind of what I like about a case. So uh, yeah, in terms of inside, you've actually got cutouts, um, stuff like that, got another fan there. Look, looks a nice case from the pictures and hopefully uh, yeah if you're kind of you know basing your kind of system around these specs this video uh, I believe you have a nice enjoyable experience building a PC in this case anyway guys that's gonna wrap up this video I hope you've liked it and uh, yeah so tell me what you think of this build guys tell me if you would change any kind of parts and uh, tell me if you're kind of getting this build and want any kind of advice just let me know and I'll get back to you Anyway guys, thank you for watching, please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video, goodbye.